Sheffield Cadets rose from a slow season to win the title by just one-tenth of a point. We're coming into championship week this year, Santa Clara Vanguard, Cavaliers, Madison Scouts, or Garfield Cadets will be crowned best in the world. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Arrowhead Stadium. This place is electric. The Blue Devils getting set to go. We're joining you live on PBS. Good evening. I'm Steve Rodinero. Happy to be your host once again for the Drum Corps International World. For the Blue Devils to go on, they come in here undefeated, Michael. Yeah, but it's your 10th year here. Who do you think's going to win, Reliable Rondo? I'm going to go with the Devils. I'm thinking they can go undefeated. There's a dark horse, though. Yeah, the Madison Scouts. Let's see what happens tonight. Let's see what happens. Blue Devils director. Let's meet These guys got to be the dark horse. They've got a shot at it. The Madison Scouts of Madison, Wisconsin. Their director is Scott Stewart. The drum major is Dan Feeney. Musically, Michael. This is the biggest, the best concerto for guitar and jazz orchestra. And then a Madison trademark, Malaguena. Here we go. Madison, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, what a beautiful sight that is. Our 12 finalists in competition here tonight on the field. They have mass now for the announcement of the scores, the awarding of prizes. And here we go. Let's pick it up with field announcer Brant Crocker. In 12th place. And a score of 85.1. 85.1. The Sky Riders. In 11th place, and a score of 86.7. 86.7. The Blue Coats. In 10th place, and a score of 89.1. 89.1. Sunco Sound. In ninth place, and a score of 89.3. 89.3, Spirit of Atlanta. In eighth place, and a score of 90.6. 90.6, the Velvet Knights. In seventh place, and a score of 92.8, 92.8, Star of Indiana. In sixth place, and a score of 93.5, 93.5, the Phantom Regiment. In fifth place, and a score of 95.1, 95.1, the Cavaliers. In fourth place, and a score of 96.1, 96.1, the Garfield Cadets. In third place, and a score of 96.3, 96.3, the Blue Devils. In second place, in second place, and a score of 96.9. 96.9, the Santa Clara Vanguard. <laughs> and the 1988 DCI World Champion with a score of 97.1. 97.1 to the Madison Scouts.
the revolving championship trophy, which is on permanent display at the Drum Corps International Headquarters, is given in memory of Donald Angelica, one of the co-founders of DCI, a guiding force in the judging community, and he directly influenced the creative direction of the activity today. In addition, he was a member of the Hawthorne Caballeros and the Garfield Cadets. This trophy will be presented by Dr. Bernard Baggs and Earl Joyce, inductees into the DCI Hall of Fame. The Corps' own championship trophy will be presented by William F. Ludwig, Jr., percussion consultant to the Ludwig Drum Company. we had a dark horse here tonight gentlemen and the Madison Scouts came out they did a job we said at the end of their show we may very well have witnessed a championship performance and son of a gun if they didn't do it and this place went berserk pandemonium Steve the whole crowd seems to agree with the six judges tonight tonight is it 1975 Madison Scouts won this title 13 years ago. This is their 50th anniversary. They started the season with a tour to Europe. What a year. A great one for them. They won their first contest this year. They won their last contest this year. A great, great season for the Madison Scouts. The Blue Devils came in here undefeated. And what a tough job these judges had, Charles, rating so many different styles, trying to do it on the same scale. I would not have wanted to be in their place, but I can certainly see why they chose Madison Scouts tonight, because the precision of what they did, both performing, music, and marching, was absolutely thrilling and spectacular. On the wide shot, let's take a look at the recap in case you missed the scores as they were announced. You can see uh, how close it was. There we go again, Michael. Two tenths of a point decided the title the there Blue Devils come in undefeated and they end up in third place exactly with Vanguard winning high general effect Blue Devils winning high horns Gar Garfield in fourth Cavaliers phantom in sixth with high color guard so they were all tight they were tight all season and we've got a tight finish here tonight that's what International Foundation Incorporated they began operating last February formed really to promote drum corps activities to encourage participation and to help to make the activity better known throughout the country well the foundation is creating a drum corps alumni association trying to find you former corps members out there and it's also helping to finance this tv broadcast if you'd like to find out more about the foundation get on their mailing list here's the address drum corps international foundation post office box 7435 bloomington indiana 47407 Phone number 812-332-5757. Something else the Drum Corps activity has been doing is giving academic credit for being out here and competing in Charles Indiana University has been one of the colleges in the forerunner here. Indiana University School of Music is certainly very proud to give academic credit to those students who are in the top 12 that you have seen tonight on television. They are absolutely spectacular, and the, the quality of what they do throughout the summer is so wonderful that we are very pleased and proud to offer academic credit to any student who wants it. This is an ensemble participation and is at the highest level. Other colleges are doing that as well. I know Broward Community College in Fort Lauderdale has now uh, linked up with the Florida Wave to give academic credit for marching. I know other colleges do that as well, Michael. Well, we're still getting our breath down here, but what you're hearing behind us now is a welcome to Montreal.